Hi, in this short tutorial I want to show you what's behind these uh, four different buttons down here in Codeboard. So the first one you probably already have seen, that is for the settings of your project. When you create a project, we uh, give you a number of default settings, but there's actually more that you can configure. So you have your project name, the description, which language the project is using, and then you can control um, the access to this project. So who are the owners? And you can uh, add other people here. And you can also restrict that only certain users can access this project if it's private. If you deactivate it, then uh, this is not, not used. Um, you can enable submissions and you can use uh, enable LTI which allows you to integrate Codeboard with other platforms such as edX or Moodle um, but this is covered in a different video. You can also delete the project here which I'm not going to do now. So this is what's what's behind this, uh, the, the settings. Then we have um, some statistics. So this is just as a project owner you have access to the statistics to see who has accessed your project, um, how many compilations different users have done, um, how many executions were done, and uh, how many submissions were done. And then we have this point of uh, user versions. So this is basically when a user accesses your project, uh, works on it, and then save, says save my changes, then this is um, the list where you can see the different users who have saved a version their own version of your project. And you can actually open these and check what the users have done here. So this is uh, rather handy when you uh, have students that are telling you, well, I cannot fix a problem because my source code is not compiling and I don't know what to do. You just ask them to provide them their username and then you can come here and you can uh, look for that user and open it up in the IDE. Similarly, we also have a functionality for submissions. So when you have this uh, option of submissions enabled for your project, then what you will see here is a list of all the submissions that every user has made. So for example, we see that the user demo one has three, three submissions and um, in the latest one, he actually has a result of one, meaning 100%, and he has passed all the test cases and, and failed none. And again, if you want to then understand uh, what that user has done, you can open this up and inspect that particular submission. Uh, you can also compile it and, and run it, of course.